What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Flash here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now normally I would be going in my Flashcraft world because that is where I do my majority of my Minecraft videos. But today we are in a separate world because I'm going to be doing a tutorial. That's right. This is my first time doing a Minecraft tutorial and I hope you guys do enjoy it. Now today I'm going to be teaching you all about the Elytra. I love the Elytra because it is my favorite item possibly in the game i love the elytra it's really really cool and it's the only source of flight in survival mode you know in creative mode you can double tap space it, it's available double tap space and you can just fly you know just you can just do this you can just fly around and but in survival mode you can't fly around unless you have the elytra let me demonstrate so i'm gonna set myself to game mode survival no wait a second no wait a second no wait Okay, wait a second. So I'm gonna have to set myself to game mode survival. There we go. And then I'm gonna equip these Elytra. And then as you see, I can fly in survival mode. I'm perfectly in survival mode. There's there's cheats on, but cheats doesn't allow you to fly. This is absolutely normal. This is absolutely vanilla. Perfectly vanilla flying, and yeah, that's actually really awesome. So, send myself back to creative mode, and yeah, that is basically Elytra. That is basically like the Elytra. Um, it is uh, the only source of flight in survival mode. And today, I'm going to be teaching you all about the Elytra, how to obtain the Elytra, how to do blah 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 the Elytra, everything about the Elytra. Now, side note, I'm not really good at flying. I'm not. I'm not, not the best at flying. I'm. I'm not sure if I'm really that good at flying. But I just love flying with the elytra. That's why I decided to do a tutorial about it. I'm not really good at flying, but yeah. And also, this seat behind me. It's, it's literally a random tree generated raw. I didn't do anything about it. And this. And actually, the spawn is actually all like a behind, right behind me. And yeah, this might be a really good seed for anybody to if who wants to start a survival. Look at the seat right here. There's the seat, uh, you can go check it out. <laughs> Not really a seat video, but just a little bit of coincidence. I may actually want to start, start my survival let's play here. Huh, that would be cool. But anyways, today we'll be doing the Elytra tutorial. So, if you're wondering why am I carrying so much gear with netherite armor, also if you guys don't know what netherite armor is, netherite armor is stronger than diamond armor that is added in the most recent update, 1.16, the nether update. So, yeah, it's stronger than diamond, a uh, diamond, but I'm from now fully geared up, and that is just because I have just fought the dragon, and that's because you can only obtain the elytra from the end, so it's a really, really rare item. So, I've got this creative moat spawned in portal right over here, as you see, as you see, and we've also got the dragon egg to prove that I actually uh, fought the uh, dragon in creative mode, that is, I fought in creative mode, and I harvested the dragon egg using the, the piston magic and everything. So, yeah, so, first step is how to obtain the elytra. Now, we can only obtain the elytra after you have beaten the dragon, just a little bit of a note. So, if you, you can go on to the end, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly up, okay. I'm gonna fly up here, and you see, there's no dragon, that means I have already beaten the dragon. Now, before I actually show you how to do it, a little bit of Elytra trivia. The Elytra is actually added in uh, Minecraft 1.9, which is the combat update slash the nether update, and that is why... No, not the nether update, it's the end update, and that is why I love the 1.9 update. I mean, there's the things that's not really good about it, including, like, the headquarters system. A lot of people don't really like it, some people do like it. Well, I personally, I'm pretty okay with it, but it would be better if it's literally zero hook count. There would be, and that is, like, basically what, like, the combat snapshot Jeb is doing, is basically to show you, show us, like, better, like, kind of better, quote-unquote, versions of Minecraft Combat, because now Minecraft Combat, people complain, it's, like, really slow. But anyways, yeah, the Elytra is added in Minecraft 1.9, and, and also, the Elytra, the name Elytra is actually named after the wings of a lady, a bug, like, a bug's wings is called the Elytron, and I'm not sure if Elytra is the plural or the singular, um, now, oh, now, what, word, whatever you like to call it, um, of the Elytron, but the Elytra is basically named after the Elytron, which is basically the bug, uh, like the bug, it's the bug's wing, yeah, it's basically the bug's wing, but now, how do you get to the, how do you get, the Elytra is, once you defeated the dragon, you can go over here, 
and all you need to do is you need to grab some ender pearls. Now, talking about a gear, gear like just basic basic gear to obtain the obtain the um like the elytra, you need of course a, a sword, a bow. You need a decent set, a decent inch on them enchanted because it's really really dangerous because and you prefer diamond or netherite armor. So that's the basic recommendation. Then you also need ender pearls. You need a uh, food, of course, and we're gonna and beds. Uh, I just did that to get defeat the ender dragon. You know, I'm gonna keep. Uh, uh, and of course, there is also and also you need building blocks because in survival mode, you can't and you can't fly like me. So you have to have to use blocks to pillar away. So now I'm gonna show you basically how to obtain the elytra. So all you do is throw an inner pearl through here, wait for a moment, and I get an achievement for the remote getaway. And as you see, <coughs> now there's these, like, these are the portals, which basically you basically get to, and because how you obtain the elytra is actually the end, that there's the main end island, which is basically the island with the dragon in it, and you can also use these portals, which is the end gateway portal, to get to the outer islands of the end, and that is there. This is where you would obtain the elytra. So once you're in the outer islands of the end, what you have to do is you have to look for an end city. Now that is what that end cities are really, really easily re recognized because it's the only thing in the outer end that is in the course fruit. Or end stone cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of nickname that people do. But yeah, this is the only thing that, only thing that like um, is 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 different from end stone cheese and chorus fruit. Now, end cities are the structures where you actually locate um the like like actually you actually grab the elytra and obtain the elytra. Now, if you're thinking about being lost, you can take your coordinates. But for me, I can literally just use creative mode and just like kill and get back to my normal spawn but as well as that the end portal gate was actually spawned randomly all across the end so you may actually find like different ones in each of the end portal gateways taking you back to the same place your own end spawn which about the place you spawn in in the end now somewhat because now of course, you want to travel between islands you're gonna have to do these blocks because you have to shift click and then you have to do like something like this you know Basically like this, survival mode. I get, I'm gonna set to survival mode actually. You know I'm also gonna turn Kimo keep inventory on. No, sorry. Through just in case we die. So yeah, now what we need to do is just a literally um pillar up. Now I have to note that this mission mission is very dangerous because this over there this is the void and if you go into the void you die first things first you die you fall to death second thing second all your beastly netherite gear which you must be taking with you unless you've got a spear one all your diamond gear all your beastly netherite gear you're gonna be taking with you on this journey because it is actually very dangerous and you need the gear to protect yourself but if you lose all of them if you go into the void you'll lose all of them and you will die that is basically it now I'm gonna sit by myself back to survival mode. I mean creative mode, sorry. And simply because I can right now, I'm gonna use the locate command, locate end city. The end city is there seven two nine blocks away. And all I have to do no wait, sorry. All I have to do is I can just click to teleport to it. Boom. Now of course if you're in normal vanilla oops, why am I stuck in a block? Am I stuck in a block? Hello? Okay, yeah, okay, we're stuck on lock. But, oh, as you see, this is an end city. This is basically an end city because it's the only structure in the end that is in quartz fruit and cheese. But, of course, if you're not in creative mode, of course, you're in a vanilla world. Of course, you have to nearly, uh, like, um, block, like, pillar up over here, or unless you want to use redstone machines, which, if you're not a redstoner, you probably want to stay out of, so basically you want to use a blocks, blocks instead, any type of blocks will do, trash blocks like dirt, or just leftover cobblestone from all your, like, haste mining trips, all those kind of stuff, and you can use it, so these are end cities, now the hazards of an end city is really, really big, so, because, first and first, with Enderman everywhere, and also these shulkers. Now, I'm going to show you guys how hostile they are they once I set myself to survive. Three, two, one, we'll look up, and as you see right here, 
these are shulker and they're shooting these projectiles in here and why pro why you don't want to get out oh, oh, oops i am aware that i don't have an arrow on an infinity boat wait a second minecraft arrow boom all right okay well, i'm gonna shoot them so, and these why is it dangerous is because these things oh you can you can basically float out you can basically float and why these is because they could give you the levitation effect and why the levitation effect is really dangerous is because that you can fly up and when you fly up if you don't have any sort of intervals you will basically die and fall to your death so yeah and also these shulkers drop shulker shells which is uh which are required to craft shulker blocks i'm gonna go back to creative mode because uh simply because i can we're back in creative mode and then we get advanced through the city now i'm gonna now not every entity can be obtained the elytra all not every entity i'm serious not every entity there's these there's this there's this section right here which is just basically fold with shulkers and these shulkers are really really dangerous so yeah i'm going to my infantry right here but not every entity can obtain can can you find the elytra now? And city also includes these crazy, crazy loot, as you see right here, just absolutely crazy. We've got diamonds, we've got gold, we've got absolutely everything. <clears throat> but yeah, not every entity has <clears throat> has a <clears throat> um has the sorry I keep uh <clears throat> it's because you they don't generate an end city ship. Now what is an end city ship? You ask an end city ship is a little bit of a ship off the coast of an end city and if you don't have an end city ship that means you don't have a elytra so this city doesn't have an elytra you have to have an end city ship so this is i don't think this is a ship is this a ship no this is not a ship it's basically these things and you're gonna kill these shulkers also they they're really they you can only attack them if they're open so yeah the Caesar Chan, also they drop you shulker shells, of course. Now, this entity is a failure because there's no entity ship and you cannot obtain the Elytra. So, next one. Next, so we're gonna have journey there and locate the next one. Now, we're gonna locate the next entity, which is, let's click the teleport. Boom. And then, uh, can I click, please? Hello? Is the mouse not responding? Okay, it's it's responding. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, there we go. Now we have journeyed into a next entity. Is this the same one? I hope this is not, but it seems like it's the same one. Is it? The shulker's been taken out, so it is the same one we just teleported before. So I think we're gonna have to take a manual trip. And yeah, I'm gonna take a manual trip. We'll, we'll be right back. All right, I think I've um like traveled far enough away and I located another end city. I hope this is not the same one. Let's just knock out all the end stone. And oh yes boys we have found the correct end city this time with an end city ship. So uh, let's raid this thing. Now I'm gonna do it myself and I'm gonna read it in survival mode just for a little bit. Alright let's go. Let's go boys challenge myself to end and then we have got some okay you know what if they're so close let me just okay and they're all down and i'm gonna just basically kill them like this oh they teleport yeah chokers sometimes teleport all right now let's go over back over here bow in the ready oh i see a choker People who like go to entities, they're not just for uh, like end ships, like and like the end ship and the elytra, but sometimes they do go there for like the shulker, shulker, sh like the shulker, so they can get shulker shells. Okay, let's go. Let's go. go, go. <laughs> Going back to creative mode. We can fly up this column over here. Yeah, you just see end city, like just basically even seeing. Like finding an entity with like the correct thing is is hard. All right, there we go. You did, you did. And then, okay, I'm gonna kill all the shulkers. You did. 
Can you reveal yourself? There. Oh, he teleported. Shulkers can teleport, and then you see, we've got some pretty cool loot, we've got an ender chest, of course, we've got, ooh, loot. Yeah, and city loot is, like, one of one of the most craziest loots in, like, the entire Minecraft game. One out from that, bro. There we go. And then, as you see right here, where's the ship? Yup, there is the ship. There's, this is the end city ship over here. There, over there, is the NCV ship where you obtain the Elijah Enderman. Get out of the way, sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna go to Game Mode Survival just to demonstrate. But, as you see right here, this is the end city ship that you're looking for if you want to go and grab yourself an Elytra. All you have to do is... Oop, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, we almost died there. That's why you have to be really precise with your ender pearl, guys. You have to be really precise with your ender pearl. Let's try that again. Yeah, like, as you see right there, I almost literally fell into the void if it wasn't for that block. So, if you were really, really precise with your ender pearl, let's try that again. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna toss it. And then boom, now we're on the end city ship, and as you see, there's a, a shulker who wants to have a little bit of a base with me. I think he died, or did he teleport? I don't know. But you see, this is the end city. This is the end city ship. Oops, there's another shulker coming in here. Oh my goodness, there's so many shulkers. Alright, can we loosen the levitation effect? Thank you. And then as you see over here. This is the, this is the guard, okay, okay, I have a no, Enderman, go, go, go. I'm, I don't have time for you, alright, there we go. And as you see right here, this is the Elytra, and all we do is just knock it out of the frame. And normally you get the achievement, Sky's the Limit, and also go to some Loot. Sky is the Limit for this, for this, okay, Enderman, please. Okay, don't mean to, don't, didn't mean to angry, angry you, alright, thank you, um. But, yeah, you normally get the achievement, Sky is the Limit, but no, but as you see right here in the beginning of the video, I already grabbed that, uh, grabbed that achievement simply because I already have my Elytra. But this is the Elytra obtained from the end, from the end, as you see. Obtaining the Elytra is actually a really lengthy process in itself, so, yeah. I'll send myself back to creative mode, and as you see right here... I've got the Elytra, so, so let's just sum, it, sum up the entire process, so first thing first, you want to beat the dragon, then you want to go to the, um, when you want to go to, like, the, go, wait a second, just gonna, go to, like, the outer islands of the end using the end gateway portal, then locate the end city, if there's a ship, go there and raid this entire city and grab the, uh, grab all your stuff, and also, I'm gonna, I, also, I can't miss the, yep, there's a dragon head, okay, I'm gonna, there you go. And also, this is an exclusive thing with dragon heads. Do we? Kill? Okay. We can break it with any tool. Ooh. Is that. Oh, goodness. Do we have. Did we grab it? Yep, we've got the dragon head. <laughs> dragon heads. Dragon heads are really, really goofy, as you see. <laughs> but now, all we have to do, I've got keep infantry on, is to kill myself, and we can get back to the overall. But of course, if you're in survival mode, don't do this. Well, you or unless you're cheating, you have to you have to lose all your stuff. So I have to do. So if you if you're in survival mode, you better just locate the coordinates of your previous ink portal gateway and just go there and go back to the end. So what I'm gonna do is basically just kill. And we'll spawn back in in the spawn point. I'm just gonna do a, like a time set day. And as you see right here, we have successfully obtained the Elytra. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to operate and not and operate how to fly with this pair of wings. Alright, so this is the Elytra. Got all my items except the Elytra, and this is the Elytra right here, as you see. The Elytra can be enchanted with uh, I'm breaking and bending, which I'm gonna do right now. Grab an anvil, grab an unbreaking book, and I'm gonna grab a mending book. And I'm going to no, actually, sit that thing down. And let's name these things. I'm gonna name them. 
uh, bolt wings. That's not creative. Or maybe that is. I don't know. I, I always like the word bolt simply because of the lightning bolt. You, you guys know what I mean. This is the lightning bolt. There we go. Here, back of my skin. But why do why do people want to enchant yourself with uh with these elytra wings like with the unbreaking and mending? Is because elytra it durability decreases really 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 quickly if you're in survival mode. So yeah, it decreases really really quickly. And now I'm gonna teach you the really basic flying. And that really basic flying is basically gliding because you do. You shouldn't think of the elytra as like physical wings, but actual like just basically a pair of gliders that gliders that can sometimes be powered powered by um, these um, fireworks to to fly infinitely. But this is just basic gliding, so I'm gonna send myself to survival mode because survival because elytra is meant for survival mode of flying. I'm gonna do is jump and then jump and then basically um press space bar and then you can glide all the way down so i'm gonna demonstrate that once again i know i've been pressing this command for a long time i should just use the f4 one but i refuse to use the f4 one for some ridiculous reason but i'm gonna get back up there just gonna get back up here and then there we go and i'm going to give you a little bit of a small rundown so how do you use the so how do you basically glide basically basically glide basic basic glide with the elytra is basically you jump off you basically pull off uh go off and you press space once you basically jump off using space and then you press space again mid-air while you're falling so demonstrate this and then i press space bar my way and I can fly back down now a little bit of a note this applies to all versions of like this dub like you press uh, like W and then you press space and then space again this applies to all versions so if you're a controller all you do is press like the key that means you go forward and you go off there you jump off the like the cliff or whatever high point you want to go and then basically you press space again and then basically you go to basically activate your wings. I'm gonna go on to F5 mode. So, okay, I, I forgot I was not in creative. But, basically, if I go up here, if I go up here, basically, basically, I'm gonna go to F5 mode because some people like flying in F5 mode. So, I'm gonna demonstrate this and it'll be more clear. So, all I have to do is turn off. Press space and then press space again, and then see I activate my elytra wings and I fly downwards. And this is basically how you do it. Now note that elytra flying can be actually dangerous, as you see right there. If I wasn't survival mode, if I collided in that tree there, I would have taken significant damage. So because of that, I think I'm gonna put myself with some diamond armor. Not nether armor, but just basically diamond armor. And get an achievement for cover me with diamonds. But there we go. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna demonstrate that once again. But this time I'm gonna demonstrate with da with like previously colliding with the damage. So I'm gonna go to screamo survival. There you do. Jump off and then press space again. As you see, if I basically collide with there, you see I take damage simply because if you collide with that, it's you take significant damage, of course. I'm gonna go back to creative mode for now. So that is basic. Now that is basic gliding with the elytra. Basic flying with the elytra. You can fly as long as that. Now there is actually a little bit of a now technique that allows you that basically you can fly off without using any source of a boosting for your elytra. Because yeah, I'll cover that later. There's boosting for elytra. You can basically fly infinitely without boosting. That is probably a myth, but I never even proved it. So, yeah. Basically, if you want to fly infinitely, use some sort of booster. But, this is basically what is it? what is flying. Basically, um, basically. Now, some people prefer flying in F5 mode, but I prefer flying in first-person mode. It depends on your personal preference. Now, I'm going to do one, one go for every single, like, every single, like, mode. So, this is F5 mode on the front. Oops, sorry, I did activate creative mode flying there. That's why sometimes in creative mode, you never, you kind of never fly with the elytra. It's really hard. But jump off, and then you basically press the base again. And you see, there's this really, really, I love these animation of you flying down like this. And then 
and then I'm gonna fly up there using like this this perspective. People always like to, to use this perspective. For me, I like using first person shooter. For not not first person shooter, first person mode. So jump off and then press space again, and I can fly like this. There we go. And then I'm gonna demonstrate it again using um like I'm actually gonna use the pulse. It's just easier. Well, no, maybe not easier. There we go. So then I'm gonna demonstrate once using then last time using basically first principle, which is my preferred one. Space bar and then press space again, and you see I'm flying, and I can collide with this and iron golem. <laughs> so yeah, that is basically all types. Of basically basic flying without fireworks or I'm gonna take a brief moment to talk about basically the equipment of flying with Elytra. So first things first you want to be equipment is basically you want armor because arm because as you see right there, if I'm in survival mode right here, if I'm in survival mode as you see right there, I can actually basically collide with a block and I can take significant damage. And if I not didn't land properly, what I'm gonna cover later, if it didn't land properly, that will not happen. And also a little bit of no. The steps I provide, like basically from like step one and step two which is basically obtain the elytra and like do that space thing these are all applicable to all versions of minecraft bedrock java whatever as long as these version is um past 1.9 did past no actually yeah past one point not not actually past 1.9 um this this tutorial applies all uh, like to not past 1.9 because past 1.9 doesn't allow you to fly with fireworks but basically like maybe one point 11 or something like that yeah something like that will do and also these these steps i'll provide you will also be lasting a little bit long if the if the mojang does not decide to update the fly, flying mechanics of elytra these mechanics i i show you these steps this tutorial right here will not be outdated so yeah unless mojang decide to um basically like basically um change that thing you will not this tutorial will be applicable to all like versions past so even like past one point not past one point nine okay i'm getting myself confused but talk about the equipment um so first things first equipment is of course the elytra itself over here and you see elytra took elytra elytra itself and the second thing second is fireworks Fireworks. Now, in creative menu, you can only get these basic fireworks, but in survival mode, if I, if I grab myself the equipment, I'm going to grab myself a crafting table, and I'm going to grab myself some gunpowder. I'm actually going to grab a stack. Grab some paper. Oops, my spelling. Paper. And then I'm going to grab myself some firework star. Oops, it's game dirt. So I'm going to use time set day. And then I'm going to turn myself to survival mode. And go with a little bit of equipment of flying with Elytra. So, version first. Okay, okay. And then also, equipment is also you need to have a sophisticated no game mode. I know, I, I this is annoying, but I'm still going to do it. Um, carrots is the best fit in Minecraft. There we go, and I'm gonna eat eat this. And then, so basically, now there's normal fireworks, which allow you to, now basic fireworks. These type of fireworks are the ones you want to use for flying. Now, if you're in survival mode, you can craft fireworks. Fireworks are really easy to craft. All you have to do is just get gunpowder, basically use gunpowder, and you can use paper. And you see you got the basic fireworks with the flight duration on it. Now, if you increase the flight duration, basically you want, you can do, you can increase the fight duration, I think, if you, I, you can switch these around, that would also do, is you include more gunpowder, and you'll see, right here, it says flight duration free, the, the, the fight duration free is the maximum for gunpowder, and basically, I would actually just recommend, basically, gunfight duration 1, because it actually gives you more fireworks, and it gets more effective. Now, what does fireworks star does, is... Okay, wait a second. Um, gonna have to do something bad on survive. Uh, creative mode. Sorry. Is that if you create myself some dyes, maybe some cyan dye. It will work. Creative. Sorry. 
So basically, if you were now, there's another type of fireworks beside this basic basic type of fireworks. There is actual fireworks. So if you, oops, I think I forgot how. Okay, I may have to Google a crafting recipe. Um, okay, wait a second. Yeah, there you go. So if you use just basically this, you can create a fireworks star. Now, what this does is basically, if we go over here and click the fireworks star, and this over here, it'll create a small bar cyan firework. And you, and these type of fireworks is the ones you do not want to use. You want to use these regular fireworks, not this type of fireworks. Why? Let me show you. So we're in survival mode. If we're using these normal fireworks, I can just like this I would, I'll learn I'll teach you how to take off and take off on the ground a little bit while a little bit later but basically as you see right there these are basic fireworks now what happens if I fight with these fireworks with the small boss cyan watch see I take a big 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 amount of damage simply because these fireworks actually emit damage that's right these type of fireworks emit damage and these these are absolutely actual fireworks with these things and these things deal damage not but these normal fireworks they if you set them off they do absolutely nothing because they're just basic firework rockets and these are the type of rockets you want to use for flying there's basic gliding but what is powered flight and power flight is basically flying using firework rockets and firework rockets allow you to fly infinitely if you have rockets you can fly infinitely and this is how you basically activate fireworks so this is actually up, up now i'm going to go in your through everything now i'm not really sure about the controller side of how to do it but I'm, I'm pretty sure how to use the pocket edition side of it and pocket edition flying is kind of buggy but it still works so if we go over here now basic steps you jump off and you press space and all you do is you basically right click if you're in java edition you right click and you see you, you fly now you don't have to hold down w for this to work you can basically hold down any kind of key and it will work so i'm gonna fly back up here if you, you can hold down any key and i'm gonna land up here but basically if i jump space and i can let go of w and i can still fly like this so yeah now for pocket edition, what you want to do is the same thing, um, like move forward, jump off a jump off a high edge, and then and then basically jump jump off a high edge, and then jump space again to activate your elytra. But this time, how do you activate your fireworks? Is you basically press your screen using any finger. You press your screen, you press you press your screen hard like you're breaking a block, and then the firework activates. So basically. And go on and then you press your screen hard you press press your screen hard not like don't just press your screen and then release you press your screen like keep pressing your screen like just basically stamp pull your finger onto the screen and this will work so stamp pull your screen and then it'll work and then all you have to do and all you have to do is basically control you can use like your um like your left hand to control the movement and then you can also use the right hand to basically press fireworks now a little bit of note you can the, if you if you turn your camera towards something it the direction of flying you turn it towards is towards that thing so you can't basically like knock your camera and now you have to turn your basically your camera towards the direction you want to fly you cannot change that in any way unless you use mods or anything so yeah now i'm now i'm going to on controller, I'm not sure, but basically, maybe you can use the same thing. Like, you know, you, like, grab on like this, and then use the use, press the use key, like, the whatever your use key is on controller, and you can use, like, this. Next, I'm going to teach you how to landing, because landing in, in, like, using, landing, using, um, like, Elytra is actually really, really hard, and if you don't do it right, you may take yourself a significant amount of damage. Sometimes, that's what some happens. If you dive bomb... You die if and if it's on if it's in hard hardcore world, you basically lose a roll, and that's really unfortunate. So what you do want to do? So basically, you go, of course, use the basic steps: jump and then jump and then use your use key when you fly around. And now basically, what you do is basically basic fly. You is you basically press the like this your crouch key as you as you're landing. And as you see right there, you can see a little bit of like that this animation, and basically that gives you a little bit of like a. Basically, a little bit of a soft landing. So when I'm going here, I press down this, and I press down the tab. Like my tab key is my crouch key, and you see, I almost took really no damage. So that is how. Now, if you want to decrease your momentum, because I can go really fast with my firework, as you see, I can go really, really fast. 
if I spam fireworks. Now, how you want to decrease your momentum is if you do a turn. Do a turn, keep turning and turning and turning, and you'll really decrease your momentum, and then you press your... Oops! It is you right there. That's what happens if you do not land properly. You die. And that's why I say I'm not really the best at flying, simply because of that. Yeah. So, yeah, that is how... That is basically 101. Flying with fireworks is really, really dangerous. It's like basically... It's like flying in real life. It's kind of dangerous if you fall out of the sky. Yeah. And also, if you fall out of the sky, watch your electric durability. Because if without unbreaking free and mending, your electric will actually go... Like, it will use up the durability really, really fast. And don't ask me why if you fall out of the sky. It's just because that durability got broken. And... Yeah, if you basically fall out of the sky, it's really broken. Let's try that once again. Just fly like this. As you see, and also, as you see, we use up a lot of, like, fireworks using flying. I'm gonna turn, turn, and turn to increase my momentum, and then press, like, my tap key, which is basically my crouch key, and I land softly, so, yeah. And also, you use up lots of fireworks, and I'm already running out of fireworks, so, yeah, and you, you have to really have, a, if you're in, like, survival mode, you really have to have a decent firework, like, a gunpowder farm, if you want to use this, like, really, like, a decent, really decent gunpowder farm. And also, you cannot take off from the ground on, in creative, in creative mode, but anyways... I'm gonna teach you now how to take off from the ground in a light. For how to how to take off from the ground using elytra, you have to first uh, first understand how to elytra jump. Now, what it, what this what this is? As it, watch me now. Did you see? I'm sprinting. You know, there you know, there, there's basic sprint jump, sprint jumping. I know. I if you're a speedrunner, you know this well. Basically, you like do this. Like basically, like you basically do this. You know, you can sprint jump, and it basically gives you an extra boost of speed unless from, um, just from sprinting. But if you're, in sur if you're in survival mode, and you, sp you sprint jump, you have the Elytra, this is what happens. You can see right there, you can see my Elytra activates, and I do a little bit of a gliding animation. I'm going to do this in F5 mode, as you see, I'm sprint. And you see right there, there's a little bit of like this animation where it activates. And this is how you take off from the ground. Now, no, unless your unless your roofs are really high, you can only do this easily in Java Edition. So I'm sorry, Bedrocker, Pocket Edition players, but if you can actually do this in other versions, if you actually use your keyboard and mouse ball, no, basically you cannot do this. Um, this do do like the take off from the ground thing unless you are in Java Edition, but. Uh, like use playing keyboard and mouse, but if you can also do you can do it pretty I mean you can attempt to do it in pocket edition or just uh, like controller But sometimes it doesn't work. So yeah, basically this is you can as you see right there My Elytra activates a little bit and what you want to do is basically grab yourself a firework and what you want to do is basically No, basically now how do you now I'm gonna tell you how to activate this as well All you have to do is sprint and then double tap double tap space double tap space You can do this in, in creative double tap space double tap space And what you want to do is sprint double tap space and then activate the firework in that split second And you see I'm taking off in the air I'm gonna turn and turn and turn and lose all my momentum and then I can land softly There we go and also, as you see, when I crouch, when I crouch, as you see, um, my, like, my elytra wings actually spread off. And that's why some, a lot of content creators, like, some YouTubers, they love to do this little intro because, like, the elytra can spread off and they, like, kind of looks kind of cool, honestly. So I'm going to do this again in first-person first -person mode. Sprint, sprint jump, double tap space, activate your elytra, and then firework rocket. Now, this is, now, in, in other versions of Minecraft, like Bedrock Edition, if you're not playing on keyboard and mouse, what do you want to do? is okay i'm gonna eat just do okay do i i'm um, gonna eat no we can't eat it so what you want to do is basically want to spam the spam spam the space bar button to basically have a little momentum and then you want to try to use your use key and then activate activate i'm gonna put this one off and basically activate your elytra and this is pretty hard on pocket edition so and or in in controller in general so what i'm gonna do is want to spam this spam the space button 
to, to basically activate your elytra and then in that split second while your elytra is activated you want to press your use key in pound edition where it's really hard if you it, unless you have a third hand but yeah it's basically it you can follow these instructions on uh, uh, any other edition and this will work and this is how you basically take off from the ground using elytra now you may also be wanting to ask why is the elytra actually so useful and why do you like it it's because of this like its usefulness in survival mode basically you know basically if you want if you like basically you you, you want you want to chop that tree down you, all you have to do is basically you just fly up and you have to and you can grab your axe and you can typically chop it up it's really really easy and also if you've got a large base and you want to get around really easily you can basically just get used to flying like just get used to flying flying is so freaking go and freaking freaking um like so fun and also you can do this and explore you can actually explore with with this using this elytra mechanic so yeah it's really 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 fun to do this and oops <laughs> i almost saw the end portal there but yeah and also um like also if you go if we go into the end go into the end we'll go to creative mode grab myself some more fiber rockets because and also elytra can be really useful for like um like in like if you're flying like basically you know Fly a little in here. But basically, you want to travel like if you're like basically. Just grab some, some, some end pose. Oops, I threw that one. Firework rocket. Yeah, and also if you want to get ourselves a consistent amount of firework rockets, you want to have to need a sufficient sugar cane farm as well as a sufficient um uh, creeper farm. Yep. Now, where's that end portal gateway? I really need to optify it because I, I have to turn off the fog. It's just so hard to see. Where's the. Oh, yeah, there's the end portal gateway. So. Basically. Basically, if you're exploring in the end. Basically, we'll land. Can we land perfectly on this block? Like land perfectly here. No, okay, but anyways, I'm gonna throw it into the world, and then as you see here, we're in the outer of the end. And if you want to like explore the end, you can basically use Elytra, and you can, and also you can, and also end cities generate all over the end, so you don't have to like you can, so you can basically you can have multiple Elytra. But as you see, you can fly very easily, really, really, really easily all across the end, and uh, yeah, also keep a sufficient amount of fire rockets or you'll just end up dying so yeah it's really useful to explore in the nether or the end and yeah that's basically it and and that is basically why you want to use the light truck but anyways i think this sums up our tutorial for today if you guys do enjoy this video and like we see be sure to like and subscribe if you find this informative be sure to uh just like just give me a little bit of a support and leave that like down below and also subscribe but anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye